It's the Pirates taking on the Cubs. The Pirates' first appearance before the home fans since clinching a winning season as the home team sending Jeff Locke to the hill. He faces Starlin Castro in the top of the third, and Castro with the two-out ready single into left field. It scores Darnell McDonald, and the Cubs with a 1-0 lead. Lock another jam, two on two down in the fourth. Now facing McDonald as he sends it into very shallow right. Justin Morneau sticks a glove out there, and he's got it to close out the frame. Not an easy play by Morneau. Bottom four, the Pirates have a threat. Runners at first and third, two men away. It is Marlon Bird facing Chris Russin, and Bird sends it up the middle. Darwin Barney can do nothing with it. Pirates tie the game at one run apiece, and the next batter for the home team with first and second, Pedro Alvarez. Toward right, and over the head of the right fielder, McDonald. This will give the Pirates the lead. A line single over the head of Darnell McDonald to bring home Morno. It's two to one as Alvarez rips it off the lefty. So El Toro comes through back to lock in the top of the sixth, getting some help from his D. Mott facing Donnie Murphy as he sends it to deep short. Check out the play here by Jordy Mercer to gun down Murphy. Outstanding play as Mercer showing off the range, going to his right, throwing across his body, and credit to Morneau with a nice pick at first base. Now top seven, Locke facing Junior Lake. The line drive into center. Andrew McCutcheon comes on to make a great diving catch. Yep, I've got it. Great play by McCutcheon here as he gets a great jump on the low line drive. That is out number one of the frame. The Cubs would not score in the inning. Let's go to the eighth. The Pirates seeking some insurance. They've got a man at first base, two men away for Jordy Mercer, now facing Blake Parker, and Mercer sends it all the way to the wall. Clint Barmas on his horse, the green light around third. He scores from first. Pirates have a 3-1 lead, but some trouble, top nine. The Cubs have the time runs on base, two men away, as Mark Melanson facing Wellington Castillo. To short, a bobble to second, light him up and raise the Jolly Roger. The Pirates win their fourth in a row and their first of their final 11 games of the regular season homestand. Melanson retiring three in a row after the first two batters reached to earn his 14th save as the Pirates win it 3-1, their fourth win in a row, as Jeff Locke snaps an eight-start winless skid and picks up his first win since July 21st with seven innings of one-run ball. And with the loss by the Cardinals, the Pirates are now tied with St. Louis atop the NL Central.